Hi. So uh, how do you look for investors, right? This is uh, such a common question that every entrepreneur that I work with asked me at some point, what is it that they should do? Okay, and so in this video, I'd like to talk about a few strategies that you can use to make your investor search easier. My name is Victoria Yampolsky, and I run the Startup Station, a comprehensive resource for modeling and valuing early stage ventures. So uh, the first approach is the one that you probably already know, is go with your, your network. Right? This is the best approach. A lot of angel investors get inundated with cold emails. They don't open them. Uh, and then the numbers game is not going to work in this case because a lot of them think if you can't make an introduction happen, you can't make a company happen. I heard that multiple times from multiple people. And so really, you have to first research which investors would be a good fit for you and which investors criteria your company meets right now, right? So that you don't waste anybody's time. And after you have that list, go you through your network and try to get a warm intro. Let's say that you're a very young person, you don't have a large network, so you can't really go through the network uh, and you still have a brilliant idea and you've developed uh, a minimal viable product and you'd like to take it further. So what can you do? You can apply to an accelerator, right? An accelerator is essentially a school for entrepreneurs that guides you either to further your uh, minimal viable product and um, get some customer traction uh, and finalize your business model, maybe sign some strategic partnerships, etc or take you from an idea to an MVP. But the important part of the accelerator is in the end where you have a demo day and you have an opportunity to meet investors and forge those relationships. Even if you don't get funded after the demo day, you can then take their feedback, improve your value proposition, work more on your product and use those relationships to get funding later. So the next um, approach is pitch competitions, right? You go to a pitch competition and then you get in front of a panel of judges. All of them are investors. All of them work for VC funds. And so this is a great opportunity for you to practice your pitch, to get some real feedback from the investing community uh, about your strong points and the weak points and to also make connections. Not only can you meet the um, investors that are on a panel, you can also meet other investors in the room. The third approach that is becoming very popular these days is, of course, crowdfunding, right? So if you uh, don't know any investors, you can go to a number of platforms that will give you access to investor pools. And um, that way, some companies are able to raise funding as well. You can also conduct your own crowdfunding campaign. This is more applicable for product startups that have an exciting story behind them, maybe a social issue startup that are trying to make an impact in people's lives. Uh, and uh, that is because those crowdfunding campaigns will appeal to the people's emotions, right? So if you just uh, create a new ad tech that's going to make uh, big companies get bigger, you know, people are not really going to care about that. However, if you're coming up with uh, a new organic baby food that, you know, that may appeal to a lot of people. So depending on what you have, you may um, do a crowdfunding campaign that's uh, directly to the consumer, or you may choose to go to a crowdfunding sites that deals with accredited investors. And finally, uh, the fourth approach is to apply to an angel group. And an angel group also has a demo day. They have a review process, and then they select the companies that they like to hear from further, uh, and they present. And it's very similar to a demo day for the accelerators, except that you don't have that prep period of three to six months where you work on your company. You go and present in front of the investors immediately. So 
if you're an entrepreneur and uh, you have no network, there's still four options for you to forge those connections, to build those relationships, to get feedback from the investment community on the strength of your proposition and to get funded. Good luck. Uh, to learn more about um, startup financing vehicles, how to negotiate with investors, and a little bit more about the fundraising strategy, please take course number five on the Startup Station's website. Thank you for watching.